And now Local 5 Sports with Matt Reynolds. Welcome back. Having just a little bit of an issue with video playback at the moment, so we'll talk you through this the best we can. The Badger men's basketball team was on the road this afternoon, and they went about half the season without a road win, which is more or less the trend for everyone in the Big Ten Conference this year. That is outside of second-ranked Purdue, who has gone a staggering 6-1 and one on the road in Big Ten games. But Bucky, they've now won back-to-back -back games away from the Cole Center, entering today's game against Nebraska. They had a chance to get a third on Saturday at Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln. We'll show you those highlights when we can, but we'll talk you through it as best we can so far. Badger point guard Chucky Hepburn was really the story of the day, returning to his home state of Nebraska. He got off to a good start in this game. It's actually where he played the final high school game of his career. Interestingly enough, that was on March 13th of 2020. Two days after, as almost everybody knows, the pandemic hit. I was at that game back in 2020, which was an 18-point comeback for Chucky Hepburn's Bellevue West team. And it occurred to me at some point in the second half of that game that it was probably the highest level basketball game going on in the entire world at that point. It was an impressive comeback for Hepburn's team, but it was eerie to look around that 16,000-seat arena in Lincoln, Nebraska and realize that it was probably the highest level game in the world that nobody would ever see. That's the power of being a sports reporter with a camera. You get unparalleled access like that, and of course, it really changed the face of sports as we know it, and sports without fandom. So let's read you some of the headlines of what happened today in Lincoln. Wisconsin got off to a 17-point lead in the first half and the second half of this game. Eventually led it 43-26 to in the second half of that game, but it was all for naught. Nebraska went on a 20-2 run in the second half to come back and make things really interesting. They went back and forth down the stretch, and then the final three minutes of this game did not feature a single point in regulation. Chucky Hepburn got the ball with just about 18 seconds left, and while Greg Gard called a timeout to set up a play, it ended up with another Hepburn step back three attempt that went off front iron, as a lot of Wisconsin games have ended recently. This one didn't end. It ended up being 61-61, headed into the overtime period. Wisconsin scored the first two points of the extra period on a Stephen Crow layup, but Nebraska then reeled off a 12-0 run in the overtime period to win it 73-63. That's the largest comeback win for Nebraska ever at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Marquette got a win on the road against Georgetown. Great win for them, and we'll have highlights tonight of the wrestling regionals at Green Bay West and Denmark. Of course, the big game tonight is De Pere, De Pere versus Pewaukee, number one versus number one in the high school basketball rankings. Obviously, that's going to be an incredible atmosphere at De Pere. 1,800 expected to pack the gym at Ron Kowalczyk Court. Like we mentioned, still having those video issues, so we'll send it to break right now and come back with another check of weather after the break, but that's it for sports at this point.